I'm done. I am done. Today we draw the line. I've been made fun of enough. If I can't take it anymore, I'm at my breaking point. Also, I've been digging way too long. Way, way too long. Probably nine iron shovels worth at least at the minimum, minimum here. here. We need a better shovel. It's finally time. Maybe, maybe if we're lucky, if the enchanting table is going to be nice, we'll get something good. Fortune three. Silk touch. Uh, probably silk touch. <gasps> Ooh, okay, it's a nice enchanting table, a good enchantment table. We'll, we'll sacrifice one lapis to you. You are beautiful. Yep, that's right. Finally, time for a brand new shovel. And you know what? We might as well. We have the levels. We go ahead and put mending on this shovel right here. All we're going to need is efficiency five on it, and then it will be beautiful. I definitely should have done that before this episode. Elite says, you know, today is the big day. Finally, the big day. The storage building is going to be built. I've been busy in between episodes, like I said said I was going to be. Look at that. That big plot of land over there has now been cleared out. Now, I have a small change of plans uh, from the last episode. We'll talk about it in just a second. But yeah, I did a lot of digging. It took way too many shovels. So as you may know, if you caught the last episode, here is the storage building that we're going to build. I think this is probably going to be my best storage building ever. Now, obviously, this is a little smaller than what I was thinking. Um, it's like on a smaller scale. We'll build it on a big scale in a second. Oh, wait, that's not the storage building. This cathedral is going to be the storage building. I am seriously huge, huge hype about it. Now, uh, I haven't made any changes to the build, really. I think for the most part, it's going to be pretty much what we talked about in the last episode. The inside is going to be sweet. It's going to be awesome. We have a lot of building to do, so we should definitely get out of this world and get to the actual building. So, in terms of the build site, here it is up close in person. Yeah, it's pretty big. Now, the big change of plans here, uh, well, two of them. We're going to have the build face this way instead. I thought out of the big grand windows, we should probably see the clock tower and like the iron farm and the other builds that we're going to put over there. So we're turning the build. Instead of having it face that way, it'll face this way. It also fits a little bit better. Other big change of plans. This is a big build and I don't really want to do another 40 minute long building episode. So we're going to break today's episode up into two parts, actually, or today's project, I should say. The episode, it's still one episode, but the project, it'll be a couple more episodes. So today we're working on pretty much our first episode mega build now mega builds are big builds basically this is gonna be yeah definitely probably the biggest build that i've ever built maybe other than that gigantic pyramid i built before the build process for mega builds is a little bit different of course building a big build is a whole lot different than building uh building a small build right yeah of course so first things first when building a mega build or a large size build like we're doing today you're gonna want to clear out space for the build find where the build is gonna go like you would usually do but then clear it out all the way now hopefully if my calculations my counting is correct this should be just about all the way i pushed the hill back back there we have a big giant flat opening area we're pretty much good to go i did that in between episodes second off you're going to want to collect materials and this is where things start to get awkward because uh check this out so a lot of dirt for leveling land lots and lots of stone for for stone building cobblestone too which is good a little bit of andesite there so those materials are pretty much good but the wood a as you maybe know if you saw the last episode we're gonna use this wood and we're gonna use this wood it's it's pretty beautiful they're great but uh look at my totals <laughs> it's laughable honestly it's embarrassing five dark oak wood seven spruce wood oh yeah yep yeah, that's definitely not gonna be enough we're gonna have to get even more of this stuff throughout the episode episode but uh second off you get your materials prep the stuff bring them over to your build site so you can basically just jump into the building third step already who even is this is it waddles it is it is don't worry still leave a like please thank you third step of the mega build build process start building you got to get the build in now during this building step we are going to get the frame of this build in so here's what i'm thinking we have our corner bit right there then we have this side pillar the it, it'll go up it'll be way taller than this then we'll go one two three four five just like we figured out in the last episode then we're going to do that again four more times Ooh, that's close that's very close but it definitely works so there we go we have our five sections that are five blocks long now we have the front of the build so i think on the front of the build this is what i had i, I had this corner piece here then we had uh, the base of an arch and we had one two three this time then we had that then i think what i did is i popped it out a little bit with stone uh, I'm going to go with cobblestone for now because it stands out a whole lot more because the ground is stone. So anyways, this pops out a little bit. Then we had a window here, and I think I had this window 
being four blocks long. So one, two, three, four. Then we had the center. Then I had another section of four right in there, and this is all stuff that we planned out in the last episode, so definitely check that out if you're interested in the design process. But there we go, four. Then uh, it's just symmetrical. So we have that, then we have a section of three, then that, and then the other corner. Oh, look at that. It does fit. My counting is correct. Okay, cool. So that's the base of the build. Now, the back of the build, ooh, that's gonna be a whole lot more tricky. So I never actually really figured out the back of the build. What I plan on doing is maybe a couple of towers at the back of the build, kind of like the Notre Dame Cathedral. Uh, this is meant to be like a cathedral style building anyway, so I think, you know, the vibes would definitely perfectly match. Ah, just a little bit too short over here. No big deal. I love that the shovel is silk touch, by the way. I definitely highly, highly prefer a silk touch shovel uh, to a fortune shovel, but I would have taken either. So let's get ourselves set up over here with a little bit of a crafting station. We'll put two furnaces right there, then we'll actually bring the stone cutter and the crafting table up near the build. Inside of the furnaces, right off the bat, I'd like to start smelting stone bricks. Cracked stone bricks are going to look really good on this build. Then, uh, while those cook up, we'll also go ahead and grab some of the vines that I got. When I was chopping this area down, I made sure I harvested a lot of vines. But we'll take a stack of vines and turn them into a stack of mossy stone bricks right off the bat. And then we'll take another stack of vines and turn that stack into a stack of mossy cobblestone also right off the bat. Building a mega build or building a large size build is a very, very different game than building a small build. I highly recommend when working on a big build like this one to do the detailing as you go, which is honestly kind of contradictory to everything that I've ever said. I always say, do your detailing after the block variants, don't worry about them right now, but no, 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 no. This time, do that as you go. The reason you want to do it as you go, at least when it comes to block variants, is because it will be a whole lot harder to come back in after, take things off of this gigantic scale build, and then put other things back in. Yeah. And it would be a whole project in, in itself. It would take a long time. So if you can handle it, I highly, highly recommend doing your detailing as you go on a large size build like this one today because it'll make your life a whole lot easier later on. Now, uh, when it does come to the detailing, you don't have to do like every single detail while you're going, but just the things like the block variants. Placing these block variants in right now will again save me a lot of time. Uh, later when it comes to trying to make this build look a whole lot better. I mean things like simple block variation in the grand scheme of things and the grand scheme of the scale of this build yeah, block variation is pretty simple. Now the arch. Ah, I really can't remember the arch that I created. I think I did staircases in there, a slab up there, definitely. Like, that's 100% the shape. Then I think I put, like, a slab in that corner. And then on the inside, I had stone. And then I wanted to mix andesite and maybe even cobblestone in as well. So let's start with the stone in here. Uh, and then... Uh, what we'll do is we'll come back in and try the andesite like right away before we move on to the next segment just to see if this is gonna work so stone staircases boom there we go jump up here staircase staircase right there just like that that is how the build is gonna look uh, probably should eat a little bit, but that's how that's gonna look. Now the andesite. Let's try mixing this stuff in just a little bit, like tiny bits of andesite instead of cobblestone in here, because I'm thinking cobblestone up there and on the roof, so I don't want too much cobblestone in here, but maybe, maybe a little bit of andesite, and then of course, finally, I don't have it right now, but we're gonna put black concrete right behind here to make this look dark. But let's see, what did I do here? So I was going crazy with the detail on this thing. I went one, two, three, four blocks up. Okay, check. I I did that then I had an, uh, a staircase and a solid block I got that then I had a staircase and then another still oh, oh I was being clavered backward staircase and walls okay and then it repeats all right gotcha I think I got it and then over here uh pretty much the same thing uh oh and this is capped off with a staircase not a slab okay good to know another project that I want to and need to take on really soon here a bamboo farm. I think maybe after the storage building is built, we need to build a bamboo farm because seriously, it is like a huge pain, a really, really big pain trying to do any of these projects like this with dirt scaffolding still, especially this one today. It's going to be a challenge for sure. A lot of towering with dirt. It won't exactly be enjoyable, but it'll be possible. It just won't be the best, but there we go. That's the shape that I created right there. That, uh, I, I think, uh, <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of double checking back and forth until I get the start of this build in. There we go, next part of the build, it's sin. 
Uh, that is gonna be just like that, and then again, on this wall, we're gonna do even more stone, but this time there's not gonna be any window. We're gonna do stone and a slight variation in here. This is gonna be pretty simple to get in. Now, today's build, because it is so big and so different, I'm actually going to do things differently. Instead of doing this whole bail on camera and talking through it, uh, which I think would be insanely boring to watch, I think what I'll do is the good old fashioned YouTuber, uh, so, so I, I did, did some, some building, building off camera, camera guys, guys move because that's just gonna work so, so much better. I will try and come back in here when we're working on new segments of the build though, talk about it a little bit, and then I uh, go off camera and do even more building. When working on a larger scale build like this, it's pretty much inevitable that the build process itself may not be the most enjoyable thing in the world. I mean, if you're working on a big build, there's gonna be a lot of well, honestly, a lot of th the same thing. Uh, you'll be repeating sections over and over and over again, and you'll be doing a lot of basic things like just swapping blocks around and just seeing how they look. Because of the tedious nature of a large build like this one, even if you're an experienced builder, like you've built a ton of builds before, I definitely highly recommend planning things out in a creative world just so you can get your vision actually into block form a little bit first. Unless you're cool with a ton, and by a ton I mean a, a billion, billion. Uh, amount of, of trial and error, just placing blocks and, and breaking blocks. If that's cool with you, then, then do it all in survival mode. Good luck, it's gonna take you forever, but you could do it. You, you do it however you want. It's, it's You play it. Play the game however you want. So, uh, like I just said, a lot of today's building is going to be done off camera, and I think right now is just about at one of those off camera building points. All I need to do is one more thing. I, I wanna talk about this area right here. So, this is where the roof is going to go up. What I'm gonna do is basic staircases going up, and then I will put support blocks underneath. I don't know what I'm gonna do from the inside, or you know what? You know what? No, I'm gonna take the blocks out and I'm just going to do the shell for now. So that's gonna go up with staircases like that. I don't, uh, or you know what? No, 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 sorry, one more thing. Uh, we are gonna leave those in there because we're gonna have staircases in here, like wooden ones and yeah, I, I don't want to be able to see inside. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I don't have the wood quite yet, so I don't know if I'm gonna put that in, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and start getting a lot of this build in now. And then when we're back, well, well, the build will have a lot more in. What I'm gonna try and do is basically finish this wall, that other wall, and probably leave the front alone for the most part and start to get the roof line in here too. So, uh, watch this. I'm gonna do a little bit of magic. Mm hmm. Boom, how did he do it? I don't know, definitely couldn't be editing. Nope, no, 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 no way. So here we are, this build is looking pretty good. I have this side finished and the other side, but this side is right now. So check it out, I have arches, I have variation going on, looking good. I have this one open because this is where our, our side door is gonna be actually. Same over there, and then the other side is identical, and the back side is still blank. Yeah, gonna have to figure out the back end of the build, but today, uh, or at least right now, we're gonna worry about what we do know. Now, I decided to go crazy with the black concrete in here because if you can remember, uh, we're gonna have chests in here and then this is gonna go straight up around the chest, so we'll have a black back to the chest. But I had a tip for concrete. If you want normal concrete, and you can, which is the big part, if you can, you can always do this, but with today's build, definitely I can, so I place the powder down, then I can come back in and dump the water on it and turn it over just like that, so I don't have to place the powder down, then mine it up, then place it back down, you know? Uh-huh, this is definitely, definitely the move. There we go, we dump the water, it all turns over, which is perfect. We want this stuff hardened because I want these windows to look deep and dark. Usually, I would leave it as powder because I like the texture of the powder, but yeah, today, that's just not the move, so, there we go, one side done, now we have to do the other side, and then after this, I have to move on to the next part of the build. Now actually, the next part of the build is uh, gonna be a lot more of the same, because the arch that I believe building up top, or the arches, excuse me, are going to be identical to the ones that I just built. So, uh, I'm excited, but I'm also not exactly excited, because all of this so far took me like an hour of building time at least, I would say. Uh, and, uh, yep, now I have about the same thing. So, going up here, here we have the arches and then the walls and everything. Variation going crazy. Now, what I'm gonna wanna do is start with a base in here. And, by the way, uh, the stone bricks here, these are just gonna continue straight up. So, get a little bit of variation, of course. But, more stone bricks going straight up. Oh, by the way, I had to go over to the desert for, uh, sand. Check that out. I used the new shovel. Absolutely amazing. It took me, like, three minutes. It was perfect. 
So anyways, back up top of the build, we're gonna start with a stone brick base right here. Then, actually right on top of these stone bricks, instead of just a wall or something like that, we're gonna create an arch and then have a window in the middle, which is gonna be really cool. So from that spot, we're gonna go one, two, three, and then four right there. And then we're gonna jump back down and basically, well, actually, exactly, literally, create the same arch again. So we're gonna do a staircase, we're gonna do a slab in the middle staircase, another staircase on the other side. That is gonna go like that here, and here, and here, and here, and all the way on the other side too. And then, I think right on top of this thing, again, we're gonna do the same thing with the walls. So we'll have even more walls on here, even more dark oak wood uh, in here, like staircases, but this time, this is where things get a little bit different, right here on the end. So, here is gonna be the move. This block actually gets dug out and turned to a staircase for a little bit of extra detail. Then, we're gonna come in here with a block, and then another block just like that. Then, after this, this is gonna be crazy, but we're gonna do lots and lots of staircases going all the way up to the center peak of this build, which is gonna be, yeah, in the middle, in line with that. Then, on the other side, I'm going to do the exact same thing to meet this all the way up here. It's gonna get really, really tall. And that tallness, oh boy, the tallness is gonna be my favorite part of the build. I'm excited for this build to be so, so big and, and grand and, and just elite looking. It's, it's gonna look absolutely elite. So that's gonna be the plan, going all the way up to the top of the build. And then, like I said, that area in there is gonna be a window somehow. Now, let's talk about the front of the build because the front is gonna be interesting too. So what we're gonna do on the front is actually basically just tower all the way up. It's gonna be very simple and very, very minimalist. So this is gonna go all the way up to really, I don't know quite yet. It's gonna go a little bit less than the peak. Then what I'm gonna do is outline this with dark oak and then uh, do staircases on this part. And that's gonna go up too, and we're gonna have basically two gigantic windows in here. So the front window, when it's done being built, is going to look like this side right here. We're gonna do blocks and then staircases underneath the blocks. Then back here, more staircases, and then finally, dark oak in there just kind of peeking through. Then I'll do even more walls on here and iron bars. We're gonna come back in finally on the last step of the build, which is actually the step after this one, and, and do the detailing there. Now, this spot is interesting. This is what I was thinking when I was mocking up the build, like a little cobblestone detail in there. I'm not 100% sure if I love that, but at the same time, I kind of just don't know what to put in there. I could put another window there, but I feel like the window there would be kind of pointless. We have the giant window there, you know, so probably some sort of cobblestone detail in there and then maybe trap doors to outline it, blend it in, make it look a little bit better, but I'm not honestly entirely sure. So this window up here is, uh, well, it's definitely gonna be a process and I'm gonna need to be careful too. Definitely need to be careful because we're starting to get pretty high up here and yeah, if I were to fall, well, I don't really wanna know what's gonna happen if I were to fall. But here we are right at the peak of this thing. We'll go ahead and put a block there and then I don't know if I'm gonna do like slabs down the middle or, or what, but either way, this is the peak. So that reaches all the way up. Uh, now I need to do it all the way down on that side and then again, all of these arches need to come in and then inside of the arches, in, in the middle, this again, lots and lots of dark oak. Now again, I won't be coming in here quite yet and doing all of the iron bars and that type of thing. We're gonna save that for the last step. Same with like lanterns. I have a couple places where I definitely wanna put some lanterns on the outside of the build, but I will come in here and get all of the dark oak. Now the inside floor, that's something that I can't decide if I'm gonna do quite yet or what, but I'm thinking gigantic black and white checkers, which will be really, really cool. So I'm thinking a two by two square of black concrete and then a two by two square of white concrete and you know, repeat that over and over and over again. I think that would look pretty nice in here. Definitely fancy for sure. Expensive, uh, elegant, cathedrally. Mm -hmm. Definitely, absolutely. But today, I, I think today we're not gonna worry about the inside as much. I might come in and, and get that base floor that I just told you about, but aside from the base floor, uh, probably not too much else, actually. I'm not too sure how I'm doing on time with this episode, but I'm trying really hard. I, I'm trying to, to keep it like a normal episode length. I feel like some of the episodes have gotten really long lately, which is cool and, and great. And I ran a poll on Twitter and, and you guys seem to love it. But at the same time, every episode should not be 40 minutes long. Definitely not. Uh, uh, this is not what I'm trying to do. So uh, anyways, I have a lot more building to do. I'll probably do a little bit inside. And then when we're back, uh, we will have this thing that I'm building right now complete and a glass in here. Oh, by the way, uh, black stained glass. I, I think I'm just going to do basic black stained glass everywhere.
build update. This build is, or at least this part, is really, really tricky, but I've got the flow down, so check this out. I decided to curve the staircases on the end. That looks a little bit more cool, so we start with the ends. Boom, 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 boom. Then, or, hey, 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 no, 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 no. That happens a lot, but there we go. Then we go ahead and fill in the middle. Oh, yeah, that is perfect. And, by the way, check this out. This whole side is done. I'm thinking, whoa, uh, I gotta be careful. I'm thinking maybe some more, some more spikes on the top, like we could do one there, and then uh, two tall, and then one, maybe, I don't know, I'm not too sure, and by the way, iron bars are gonna go on top of every single wall that I placed down today, so yeah, this is gonna be pretty cool, but yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on the build, and talk about how I'm doing it, how it's going, but uh, anyways, oh yeah, haven't done the inside either, mm-hmm, uh, yep, yeah. okay, back to building. Well, I am reaching a really, really solid spot in the build today, elites. It's going amazingly. Check this out. So I'm on the inside. I'm starting on the floor. What I'm going to do is place the concrete powder down and then dump water over it. But yeah, like I said, it's really, really dark in here. So what we're going to do for now is just throw a bunch of lanterns on the ground so I can show you the outside because the outside is looking absolutely on point. By the way, there's a cave system underneath this thing. I didn't light it up quite yet, but the outside outside is looking absolutely amazing it looks like a beast if i'm being honest i am really happy with the build now uh so far we've done three steps first we prepped the build side then we got the materials and then we started doing the build and we did a lot of details on the build while we were actually building the build the final step for a mega build other than the interior of course you can never forget the inside but the final step is going to be the smaller details on the outside of this build so today the smaller details there's actually not that many all we need to do is really come back in here with some iron bars on the build which uh that's gonna be pretty easy i'm gonna put like one or two iron bars on top of every single wall probably one and then lanterns which is also insanely insanely easy on the lower part of the build this is what i did i did a staircase and a dark oak fence because we have a dark oak roof and then i'm gonna do a lantern on every single fence i don't know if i'm honestly going to do any lanterns on the higher part of the build on the inside by the way i put some windows windows in here that looks pretty good to me that's a big giant tall window i think it looks pretty good maybe i come back in and do pixel art on it later and interestingly this block uh, right here this one right before the build is the final block that the beacon can actually reach so unfortunately no haste while we're inside of the building but it's no big deal because later on we're going to have more beacons now uh, i've decided to make a change over here when it comes to the storage uh, chests now uh, fortunately i have a bunch of jungle wood most of it is not uh, with me though it's all uh, down in the double chest down there i think i've maybe eight stacks worth but this is what i'm gonna do instead of putting the chests on the floor we're still gonna have five rows of chests but we're gonna raise them up i'm gonna put them on something what I, i'm not too sure i'm kind of tempted to do barrels maybe that would look cool but really i'm i'm just not too sure but i do know that the chests are going to sit raised up on top of something that's going to add a little bit more depth to this build which is going to be good another thing that i'd like to do eventually once i have the stuff to do it is come back in here with a gigantic rug and put lighting underneath the rug but unfortunately I actually don't have any lighting blocks quite yet. I still don't have jack-o'-lanterns. We need to make a pumpkin farm. I hadn't made a pumpkin farm because I didn't really have much of a reason to make one, but now, oh, now we definitely have a reason to make the pumpkin farm. So what I'm gonna do off camera, this time in between cuts, there will be one more time jump cut in this episode. This time off camera, I'm gonna, of course, finish up the inside floor. I'm probably gonna run out of concrete powder. Yeah, definitely gonna run out of concrete powder, so I'll have to make more. Finish up the inside floor, do the details on the outside, and then uh, probably the chest too. I'm going to do as many as possible. Backs out of the build, not going to worry about today. A lot of the inside details, also not going to worry about. We will be probably working on it in the next episode, or if not the next episode, one of the next episodes. So this is a big storage room. It's going to take a couple episodes to finish, for sure. But anyways, I have a little bit more work to do. I will be back with the comments of the day.
Oh yeah, the spikes, the spikes. Look at them. They look so cool in my opinion. I really like that touch that they add to the build, but I, I said I wasn't going to do too much of the inside today, right? Mm -hmm, right. Well, well, if I didn't, uh, we're not doing much of the inside today, but really quick, I would like to show you something because I think this would look really, really good in here. So uh, maybe... Maybe not 32, maybe like 16 to start with, but we're gonna make a lot of smithing tables. This is expensive, but remember, we have we have a lot of iron. We'll grab our scaffolding and then we'll tower up over here in front of this chest wall that I finished for the ceiling of this bit. So remember, we're gonna have a raised up area with even more storage. I think that raised up area could probably sit right up here, right? Mm-hmm, yep, probably. Now, uh, what about the ceiling of this lower area? Well, maybe, just maybe, I think probably the ceiling of that lower area could be smithing tables and then maybe the walkway, like the floor up here of this upper area could also be smithing tables. So check this out, the smithing table, the bottom of the block looks so cool. Look at it, it's like dark red, which is definitely fitting the vibe in here. And then the top of the block, of course the top of the block is that right there, that's a nice texture too. So here's what I'm sort of thinking. We'll have that come out a little bit more and this end as well, that'll come out just like that. Then maybe we'll put like fences in there or something, I'm not too sure quite yet. This, uh, we'll put this stuff back down so we can get up there of course, climb the scaffolding, then up top, here we could have a walkway that's probably three blocks deep maybe then we would have room for like uh, a row of chests a row of chests so like two rows of chests and we'd have the window and then the top of the build which i think would be fine i mean we already have a lot of storage down there i did go with barrels down there but yeah maybe something like that then of course the the side of the smithing table the side looks a little weird so to get rid of the side we could probably just come in here with spruce trap doors which will match what i'm doing in the lower part of the build and then this will look fine then uh in terms of lighting up here lanterns we could hang lanterns from somewhere we could figure it out somehow then uh over here this bit this will probably wrap around and then we could come in here with like fences to keep this nice and safe because of course i don't want to fall off of this thing and then the way up some sort of spiral staircase somewhere so then up top we end up with the smithing table floor that looks cool and then down below we end up with the smithing table ceiling that also looks pretty cool and is completely concealed by the trap doors. Now, the only question here, do I wanna take the staircases in there and push them back? So I have three blocks of smithing tables and then the staircase would be back there, or do I just leave it like this? I'm not too sure. Uh, that's something that I'm probably gonna to have to figure out in between episodes. Comment of the day. Will you make a new season of guide or stay in this one for a long time, maybe even forever? This guide world is my favorite. I said it in the tour. I say it again today. Yeah, I'm going to stay in this guide world for a long, long time. Definitely. The plan is this world long term. Now, in terms of how long term, I don't know. I wouldn't be able to say. It really depends on how much I'm loving a world. But right now, at this point in the world, I'm like way more in love with this world than I ever was in any other world. And that's being honest. I feel like I say it every single time I'm in a world because it's true. But this time, oh, it's seriously even more true. I have some gigantic plans. So that's that in terms of this world. But check out the build from over here. Look at it. It looks so, so sweet. Now, hold on. There's another angle that I want to see it from. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Kind of blocked. Definitely got to take out some more forest. Ooh, boy. Look at that building. And hey, would you look at that? It coincidentally matches the clock tower. Aha, uh -huh, aha, uh -huh, yup. That was all planned, but check that out. Wow, that build is definitely detailed, definitely big. I'm not too sure about that dark oak piece right there, and then same with the dark oak over there, though. I'm thinking maybe I come back in and do like maybe planks or something, or hey, there's a creeper inside of there. That's a problem. Uh, I'm thinking I, I might come back and switch that, though. If you have any ideas, definitely let me know down in the comments below. One other idea that I had, maybe gold or something cool like that. That could be kind of nice. Gold is garbage, though. Don't get me wrong. Now, off camera, in between episodes, I have a little bit more work to do. So next episode, I'm thinking probably more storage building work. I'm going to try and finish it as quick as possible. Hopefully next episode, but I'm not too sure. But yeah, either way, I do have a little bit more work to do. The plan basically copy what i did over here back there and then figure out the top area even more like do i do the the spruce there do i do dark oak like what do i do i need to figure all of that out this time 
in between episodes. I also, uh, by the way, am considering doing like Dark Oak in there instead of Trapdoors. I'm not too sure. But either way, when we come back at the beginning of the next episode, the build will be progressed a little bit more. Not too much more, but a little bit. Today, big shout out to my patrons, Cat0808 and Unique Sarah. Thank you so much for the support. Until next time, smash that like button, subscribe, check out my Twitter. Goodbye, everyone.